Why? Cryptocurrency. Yep, everyone's going crazy over that crypto coin again. It's kind of neat. Alternative digital currency. But I don't get what the big deal... Wait, what? Whoa! Holy cow. Just look at those charts. Oh, did you say Bitcoin bubble? I sure did. Market cap? One trillion dollars? Why is this Ethereum? What the heck is Ethereum? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Look at that! Jeez. So how do I get into this cryptocurrency game? Investment? Mining? Money? I, I don't have any money. And cryptocurrency is so volatile anyway. Now let's see what mistakes I make, because I'm going to make them. First of all, we need a motherboard. And yeah, I got this old desktop and CPU that I was going to sell for 90 euros. Four PCI slots and one PCIe mini slot should be the ideal board. I can only physically fit two cards on this board. I mean, graphics cards are huge. Apart from the fact that I had to Dremel out the PCIe one slot to fit in a full-size card. Oh, but extenders exist. But where the heck am I gonna put all these cards? Maybe I can set up an empty case to run them into? Or wait, what are these? Mining frames. They're just so expensive. 100 euros? Well, maybe I can build one out of junk wood. Fantastic, look at that thing. Hey, but, but wait. 10 meters of wood cost 5 euros. So let's start over, let's do this properly. Let's run over to the hardware store, load up on wood, get home, pile the wood up, and bam, build a Bitcoin mining rig. But what about the GPUs? The metropolitan area has none. Like none. Nothing high performing. If it is, boom, it's gone. Hey, but maybe I can convince some guys in Northern Lapland to mail me their cards. I do need four cards. I get a GTX 670, GTX 760, and GTX 580. Wow, that thing is huge and unprofitable. What am I doing wrong? These are powerful cards. This is more powerful than a 750 Ti. So what the heck gives? Do a little bit more research. It seems that you need to have a card that supports CUDA 6 if you want to actually be profitable. Or just about any 2GB AMD card. All cards that seem basically impossible to get. I wonder why. But hey, look. Here's a 750 listed, and that supports CUDA 6, and is apparently profitable. So I get to this guy's place at 4 o'clock like he told me to meet up. Yeah. And that's where I put this story on pause. I'm in the middle of building an unprofitable 500 euro mining rig that can effectively turn electricity into cryptocurrency and heat. That'd be great if I was paying for heat and this was the winter. So what's the plan? Of course, try to find a profitable card for our fourth GPU. Then, if we're able to sell the GTX cards for at least the same price I bought them, which I think I can now that they're in the metropolitan area, I might be able to turn that around and find a profitable card. Maybe, I don't know. The market's saturated with all this hype, Time is ticking. It's kind of a bit late to be jumping into this. A lot to learn, really cool stuff, but take it all with a pinch of salt. It's been really fun to get this whole setup going. And the fact that I'm able to get a solid 20 to 25% stable core speed increase out of my video cards in an open air design, instead of trying to dremel in spaces for fans into the side of my personal computer, maybe it's worth it just to build an open air wooden case for my own personal desktop. The numbers, they don't lie. I've, been, I've had two video cards running 24-7, overclocked, with no errors, with no crashes. Who would have thought that open air cooling would have been that effective? And hey, speaking about temperature drops, my new heat sink is here. Now we wait for thermal paste. And this of course is for my other video, which is about building a gaming PC on the cheap. 
we're in the middle of two projects so more videos are to come i hope you did enjoy the video if you did enjoy the video then do hit that like button if for any reason you did not dislike and as always no matter where you are in this world do remember to have a good night a good morning and a good day bye bye